Hey, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. So a while back, I did a video on how you can display Home Assistant cameras uh, on your Apple TV. And it was great. Uh, you could set up automations and basically uh, anytime a uh, door or sensor was triggered, um, you could have it display a camera uh, in your Apple TV. The problem was they showed up full screen. Uh, so if you're in the middle of watching a show, it was really kind of annoying uh, to have it pop up, take over the screen, show the camera, and then you either had to hit back on the Apple TV remote or within your automation, you had to uh, set it up to automatically go back after so many seconds of displaying the camera. Well, today we're going to look at how you can get notifications uh, for your cameras on your Apple TV, but uh, in picture-in-picture -picture format, uh, basically just show it up in the top corner. Here we go. With the, the release of 14.3 of the Apple TV OS, you now have the ability for HomeKit to display cameras on your Apple TV picture-in-picture uh, -picture style. So it basically kind of shows up in the top corner. There's not an easy way to set this up uh, with the integration from Home Assistant into HomeKit, but uh, we do have a roundabout way to do it, and that's what we're going to look at today. So let's do a quick run-through of everything we are going to cover in this video. So, of course, for starters, we'll go over some uh, prerequisites, things that you need to uh, have already in place in order for this to work properly. Uh, once we do that, then, of course, we will expose our cameras from Home Assistant into uh, Apple HomeKit. After we do that, then, of course, we'll look at the uh, configuration on the Apple TV. And then, of course, lastly, uh, we'll just see what it looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so let's go over some prerequisites here. First things first, your Apple TV will need to be on tvOS version 14.3 or later. Uh, so uh, if you go into your settings here, you scroll down to system, Click on uh, software updates here and you should see what version that you currently are running. As you can see here, I'm running 14.3. So if you're not, of course, you can go ahead and update it here. The next thing that you need to do is once you are on 14.3 is you have to go back into settings and under the AirPlay and HomeKit section, you need to select what room you're going to associate your Apple TV with. I'm not sure why this is a requirement for it to work, but I do know that if you don't have this set, that the notifications uh, do not show up. So of course mine is my bedroom Apple TV, so I have my room set to bedroom. All right, so for the next item uh, that you have to have for everything to work is kind of obvious, but you need some sort of camera to find in Home Assistant. Uh, so I have Hikvision cameras, so they're connected uh, using the generic RTSP camera integration in Home Assistant. Other types of camera integrations should work. As long as you can configure them in Home Assistant, we should be able to expose them to HomeKit. The last thing that you are going to need for all this to work is some sort of binary sensor that you can use as a trigger uh, for the notifications. You could use something like an open closed door sensor if you wanted, or maybe a motion sensor that you have around your camera that you can uh, trigger to show the camera feed as well. Other options obviously are like a doorbell sensor. So if a doorbell is pushed, then of course that would uh, activate the camera as well. Just some kind of binary sensor that we can use to trigger the uh, notification. Once you've determined that you have all of the prerequisites in place, We'll move on to that next step and get it exposed into HomeKit. All right, so to expose 
our cameras into HomeKit, there's a couple of things that we need to make note of. Uh, the first thing is, is what kind of sensor we are going to be using to kind of trigger those notifications. Now we mentioned the binary sensor earlier and that's kind of what we were talking about. Uh, but whenever you're configuring the HomeKit integration under camera, we're gonna set it up as a linked doorbell sensor. As you can see, there are a couple of other options there, uh, but for some reason, and I'm guessing it's a bug in the integration, that those other options do not work uh, for notifications for this setup. The only one that seems to actually trigger the camera to show on your Apple TV is the linked doorbell sensor. So even if you're using an open door sensor or a motion sensor, we're gonna call it out here where it says link doorbell sensor and that should uh, allow us to get the notification on our Apple TV. The second part is the stream source. Now you don't have to list a stream source for your camera. Um, what will happen is however your camera is sent over to Home Assistant, Home Assistant will then just uh, regenerate that stream and send it on to HomeKit. Uh, when I did it initially and I didn't list a stream source, uh, my stream in HomeKit came in very degraded, pretty much non-usable. You couldn't make out the image at all. And so by putting in a stream source and giving it that RTSP stream that I had originally defined for Home Assistant as well, that uh, allowed the stream to come in nice and clear and actually worked very well in HomeKit. All right, so once we cover both of those, now we're going to dive right in and add this into Home Assistant. So I have my HomeKit uh, component built out inside my configuration.yaml file. And as you can see here uh, at the top, I just have all of my included entities right here. And so uh, just list them out here. I have three cameras that I'm using for this, which is my front door, uh, my side door or carport, and then my back door. All right, so under Entity Config, this is where you're going to put in all the configuration for the uh, actual cameras. So there, as you can see, I have the linked doorbell sensor, and then I called out my uh, front door contact, uh, side door contact, and back door contact as well. And then, of course, for the stream source, I list out the RTSP stream for those cameras. And I'll have all this in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it. But basically, once you have all that information in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And then we're going to jump over to the web interface. Uh, we'll go down in here and we'll do a check configuration just to make sure everything is good. And the nice thing about this, because we're only making changes to the HomeKit integration, we do not have to restart Home Assistant. We can just go down here and hit Reload HomeKit, and that's pretty much it. At this point, those devices should start showing up on our Apple TV, as well as uh, on your phone in the Home app. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next step and take a look at the configuration on the Apple TV. All right, so for the configuration for this, it's actually really basic. There's not a whole lot to it. There's nothing that you really have to do. I think the notifications are actually enabled by default, uh, but we're gonna go into settings here and then to AirPlay and HomeKit. And as you can see down here, there is now a section uh, called notifications. For me, it has three different uh, devices here. These are the three cameras that we just uh, looked at inside my uh, HomeKit integration. And you basically just have the ability to turn them on or to turn them off. If you don't want to get notifications on the Apple TV, then you can turn them off here. Otherwise, uh, anytime the uh, sensor uh, is triggered, um, it will display on the Apple TV. But that's pretty much it for the uh, configuration. Let's go ahead and move on to the last step and we will see it in action.
All right, so as you can see here, I have my TV uh, going. It's currently playing a TV show. We'll go over here and open the door. And boom, as you can see, it's displaying the uh, camera feed up in the top corner. And of course, you do have the ability to click on it and it will go full screen if you want. Uh, but of course, if you're like me, I like to have just that uh, view in the top corner. It's showing a live feed, but I don't have to uh, tie up the whole TV with it. And of course, you know, it will go away after a few seconds. Uh, if you just wait long enough, it will actually go away. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, not a super easy way to get it set up, uh, but definitely not too difficult uh, if it's something that you are wanting to do. Hopefully they'll fix the integration to where you don't have to use the doorbell uh, sensor every time that you can actually link it uh, using motion or something else and we'll still get the trigger uh, that you need. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course for starters, uh, we went over some prerequisites that were needed to get this to work properly. After that, then of course we went ahead and went through the uh, configuration for exposing the uh, Home Assistant cameras into HomeKit. Uh, once that was done, then of course we just took a look at the configuration on the Apple TV. And then lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to my Teespring page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And, of course, if you are still looking for a VPN service to keep your home network secure, check out the link in the description below that goes to IP Vanish. Uh, they offer some great deals on VPN service there as well. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.